Lady Falcons from very best, currently ranked number 11 in Class 1A, are off to a hot start this season, currently sitting at 13 and 2 overall. It's a season with the high expectations for the Lady Falcons, just two years removed from a state semifinal run on the hardwood. They may have, and they have, their sights set on making yet another run. We've always been really good at defense and like working together, especially like to get tips and steals. So I think overall, like our defense has been really well, and it's kind of been what's been keeping us in a lot of these bigger games and allowing us to go ahead and win them as well. It's hard when you're on a new team and you don't know the players, but we're at the level where we've played with each other for so long. We know every little thing about each other, and we know how to work together through the goods and the bads. Our goal this year is definitely to make it to state and hopefully take home the gold. It's been our goal for a lot of us since we were little. Most of us, or a couple of us, have been playing together since we were in first or third grade. Some more came in. So we've had this goal since we were little, and we hope to achieve it our last year in high school. So with the new realignment that took place back in February, here's a new look at the new look District 11-1A for basketball. Blackwell brought remaining in this district, but the district welcomes Garden City to the group. Rounding out the district, Erin County, Robert Lee, and then very best, the Lady Falcons back in action next Thursday and Friday up in Lubbock for the Cap Rock Tournament for their final non-district game January 3rd at Rochelle. Very best opening district play January 6th at home against Bront.